G'day guys, welcome to the channel and our C, as you can see our CNC has finally arrived. You can also see I've got three little helpers, it's school holidays here in Australia. And we're going to unpack our CNC. During this um, series of uh, clips that we're going to do for YouTube is break down the costs. Um, I'll t talk about my experience and good and bad experiences with this process. And I'll also teach you how to avoid about five grand's worth of expenses, which I had to incur through making mistakes or other people making mistakes on my behalf. Um, anyway, let's get to the unboxing. Kids are gonna have fun and I'm gonna have fun and we're gonna see our new machine. Hopefully, it actually works. <laughs> let's go. After all that. Yeah. Safety glasses on. Yeah. Yes. Right. Stand back, because these, these straps might cling. Okay, I think that's the thing unboxed. What I'm going to do now is rearrange the shop, uh, move a few things around, and then I'll put this in situ, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, here it is. It's in its new home, or temporary home, until I move it somewhere, or maybe put it into a quiet room. However, I'm really happy with the machine. It's been about three weeks, and I've been playing with it. So, and um, Actually, I've produced a couple of jobs out of it, um, and it's worked really well. Been a few issues, um, a few quality issues, a few setup issues. Um, there's still a few little niggling problems with it. The quality of the finishing um, and completion of the work has been a little bit ordinary. Uh, but overall, this machine is really, really good and I'm really happy with it. So I've got on the back of this machine, you'll see a lubrication system, so that'll be full of soluble oil at one stage. So when I'm cutting brass or aluminium or anything like that, that will have a self lubricating system up here at the spindle. That's what these guys are for. It has its access lubrication system, which doesn't work properly. So it does oil the rail really fairly well. It does the other rail on the other side of the machine and it does the ball screw under the table. But it does not lubricate the gantry or the Z-axis, which I'll fix. It's just a design issue. There's nothing wrong with the components, it's just the way to set it up. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Okay, so the computer does not come with the machine. You have to um, supply your own computer and screen, of course, and I've just mounted it to the control box, which Suits me fine, it doesn't have to do anything else. It only, it's only there to click run, load the G code and that's it. So there we are. So we've got another video where I had to fix the tramming. Um, this spoil board, as you can see, is, you can see some of the tracks, but that's really nice and smooth now. There's no issues there. Uh, but I've got another video where I show you the spindle. I had to rip the whole spindle off the machine and refit the mounting plates properly. But that's in another video. Anyhow, so here she is. I'm really happy and um, yeah, it's a cool machine, man. Um, don't buy from this company. So if you're looking up, yeah, he loves the machine, do not buy from these guys. I'll get into that more in another video. But until then, thanks for looking. This is my little CNC and I can't wait to do some really creative work on it. Thanks for watching, guys.